In 1873, a new railway system was under construction in Sweden. Edward Frankel, chief engineer of Swedish Rail, together with Oscar Wallenberg and Otto Frank, formed a company in Stockholm called Atlas. The mission was to produce equipment for railways. However, the Swedish rail development slowed down and Atlas was badly affected. With the help of Wallenberg, the company was restructured and managed to survive. In 1917, new Atlas merges with an engine manufacturer, Diesel's Motors. The same year, the company established its first international sales operation in St. Petersburg in Russia. Based on an internal need for better manufacturing tools, Atlas started to develop its own compressed air tools. In 1936, the one-man machine was introduced. A single person could operate a light rock drilling machine. The Swedish method became a huge success and led to an international expansion where new sales companies opened all around the world. In 1940, the company changed from a production-orientated to a market-orientated one. Customer needs became the starting point for the development of products as well as for sales strategies. In 1956, Arpic Engineering was acquired. Arpic had 8,000 square meter production facility and 300 employees. This acquisition turned out to be a very successful one and of major importance to Atlas Copco. Following the acquisition of Arpic, the company's name was changed from Atlas Diesel to Atlas Copco. Copco came from the French words Compagnie Pneumatique Commerciale. In the 1960s, Atlas Copco began to modernize and expand its production plants. The compressor business developed rapidly as the oil-injected screw compressors became a big commercial success. With the launch of an innovative oil-free air compressor in 1967, many new opportunities opened up in, for example, the textile, food, and pharmaceutical industries. In 1987, U.S.-based tool company Chicago Pneumatics CP was acquired. Through this and other acquisitions, customers were given a greater choice and more complete product offerings. Water for All was established in 1984 after two employees visited Peru. Devastated by the drought, they decided to help people in need of clean drinking water. Through voluntary employee donations, projects are implemented, drilling or digging for water. Atlas Copco contributes with twice the amount of what employees donate. In the early 1990s, Atlas Copco established its vision to become and remain first in mind, first in choice. The core values, innovation, commitment, and interaction were identified after research among customers, distributors, and employees. With the escalating climate changes follows the need for energy efficiency in products and resource efficiency in operations. Atlas Copco continues to launch new innovative products to meet customer demands. Atlas Copco has only had 11 CEOs up to now. In 2009, Ronnie Layton became the second non-Swede to lead the Atlas Copco Group. Strong focus on service, operational excellence, and brand portfolio management characterizes his leadership. In 2011, a fourth business area, construction technique, was added. Each business area has now a dedicated service division for professional customer support around the clock. About one-third of all employees are working in the service business. Atlas Copco is recognized as one of the most innovative and sustainable companies in the world. With a solid structure in place and world-class people, we're ready to take off for the next 140 years.